Hi, my name is Wes Lawler. This is a continuation from our educational series. In this video, I'll be showing you the batteries and electrical systems on board this Axopar 37 wet bar model. This is the location of the batteries on board this Axopar 37 cross cabin. Under these two lazarette hatches, there's also a battery, a big battery hatch that I've removed for the purpose of this video. We've got the two uh, battery isolators for the two uh, engines, port and starboard. This is your uh, port start battery, uh, starboard start battery, and then you've got two Group 3100 AGM batteries for the house side. All the way up forward, we have the location of the solar charger controller. Forward from that, we have the uh, battery isolator for the service batteries. This is the location of the service battery switch, starboard start battery and port start battery. These are Blue Seas remote battery switches. So the switch is located underneath the helm, which sends a signal and actually turns the battery on here. So the boat is equipped with four remote battery switches. And the remote battery switch, the way it works is there are four push button switches at the helm. When you turn those switches on, it will then send a signal to the actual battery switch itself, which will turn it on and off. There's a couple of things to know about these remote battery switches. One, if for some reason you have low voltage and you can't turn the battery switch on at the helm, you can manually come down here and push this plunger down, which will then turn the switch on. The other feature that this remote battery switch has is a lockout feature, where if you don't want batteries to come on at the helm and just peace of mind you wanna lock it out, you rotate the switch all the way over where it says lockout. Also in here, we've got the Whisper Power battery charger, which is a 40 amp battery charger. And back in this compartment is the uh, location of the aft bilge pump. There are two main ways to charge your batteries on an Axle Part 37. The first is via the alternators off the engines. While the engines are running, the batteries will be charged without needing to do anything. The second is through the shore power connection, which there's a proper procedure and I can show you that now. So for the AC system on board this Axle Part 37, it's located up forward under the anchor hatch. So when you're plugging your boat into shore power, you wanna make sure that the pedestal on the dock is turned off. And you'll know that because this red LED light will be off. If there's power going through the plug, this will be on. So what you wanna do is you wanna line up the uh, right angle prong with the boat side right angle prong and you rotate clockwise and then uh, engage this uh, lock washer I just flicked the breaker at the pedestal and now the shore power cord has power. Next is you go to the AC panel and the first switch you want to turn on is main 40 amp. This sends power to the panel and you'll know that because the little green LED light will light up. The little red LED light right next to it indicates reverse polarity. If that light comes on, then you probably have an issue uh, at the pedestal on the dock that you want to double check. The next switch is uh, main 30 amp. This supplies power to the rest of the switches, and that also turns on the voltmeter, which it's reading 12 volts right now. The next switch is receptacles, which is the 110 outlet on board the boat. The next switch is the charger. That will turn on the battery charger and immediately start charging your batteries. And the last switch on this particular panel, this boat came with a hot water heater and uh, that's the last switch, turn on the hot water heater. Then to disconnect the boat from shore power, you just wanna do everything in reverse and flip off all these switches, uh, release the lock washer, uh, rotate the plug counterclockwise and uh, then make sure to close this when you're done. How to monitor your batteries. Uh, there's three different locations on this SimRad screen where you can where you can pull voltage information. First is through the Axopar app on the information display. This will give you where both engine batteries are as well as service battery. 
The second location is through the Mercury app. This will give you both engine voltages up at the top of the screen port and starboard. And the third location is on the sidebar. You tap the sidebar, press and hold. This brings up the menu options and it's other supplied voltage. This will give you the uh, service battery voltage. If you want to charge your device on board this Axle Par 37, there are three locations. The first location is here at the helm. Open this little plastic lever and there's two USB ports here. The second location is right here. This is tied into your Fusion stereo. If the stereo is not on, then you won't be able to charge your device through this USB port. Directly below it is also a 12 volt outlet. The third location for a USB port is up forward in the V-berth along the port side. Up underneath here, there's two um, other USB ports. Hey, this is the location of the outlet on board this Axle Part 37. There's only one location and it's right here on the starboard side underneath the gullwing door. This Axle Part 37 comes equipped with a solar panel. This solar panel gives you peace of mind to keep your batteries fully topped off. In this modern day, boats have some kind of a draw with all your battery switches off, whether it's a CO2 alarm or a smoke detector, there's a draw coming from the boat. So with this solar panel, this gives you that assist to keep your batteries fully charged, whether you're on a mooring or you're at the dock and you can't plug into shore power. So this is the location of the DC panel. It's located in the toilet compartment just above the sink. So if you ever have an issue with a system, something's not working, this is the first place to check. And you'll know because this breaker will be popped out and all you need to do is just push it back in and then retest whatever's not working on board the boat. Uh, this also gives you the location of some of the switches on board the boat. Now, Axelpar stamps all these uh, DC panels out regardless of what options you got. So there might be something on here that you didn't get on your boat and the, the switch will still be here. Like for instance, this boat does not have a cooler drawer, but there's a switch for the cooler drawer. One thing to mention about these switches, to turn it on, you wanna push the switch all the way in until the white sleeve goes away. And then it's the opposite to turn it off. Push it all the way in until you hear a click. And then you'll see that um, the white sleeve uh, on the switch come out. This also gives you the location of the macerator pump switch, which is just a rocker switch. This also gives you um, the location of your waste tank sensor. This red indicator light will come on if your tank is 75% full, which will prompt you to then either go to a pump out station or um, three miles offshore direct overboard discharge. This concludes our video for today. I hope you enjoyed watching. If you'd like to see more educational videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel at East Coast Yacht Sales.